Now there are a plethora of reasons given for why marriages fail. But one of the things that all of these expressed elements have in common is that they're all external. And since we all know innately that internal factors determine the external, then to build your marital bond and strengthen it over time, you must turn away from the external realms such as sex or money or happiness and look into the internal. Because if you want to know how to hold on to your partner, the answers are in the inner world. So if we look into this inner world, we will see before you're married, you have a soul, mind, heart, and body. These are the four elements that are inside your personal world. You are the soul, and your mind, heart, and body mentally, emotionally, and physically express you out into the world. Now, once someone joins you in marriage, what happens is that you have another soul, mind, heart, and body invade your inner world. This is called one flesh. Now, oftentimes, one flesh is considered to happen during sex for the first time or during the marriage ceremony. These are both incorrect. Those two elements do express one flesh, but one flesh is about two souls, two minds, two hearts, and two bodies inhabiting one inner world. And as the two individuals come to this marriage, they each have an ambitious drive. They want to bring something out into the world. And the process, very simply, is each soul inspires their mind to think. And that thought goes into the heart and inspires the heart to feel. And that feeling rises from the heart and goes into the body and challenges the body to act out all these inner creations to bless the world. But as you can see here, once you have two souls, two minds, two hearts, and two bodies inside the same inner world, a partnership develops. And this is the basis for marriage. How your mind, heart, and body interact is what determines how strong your bond is and whether you will hold together through the years. So the first step in holding on to your partner is giving one inner gift. If you look through your inner world, your soul, mind, heart, and body, you're the soul, and you have three creative engines, mind, heart, and body. One of these three realms you have a particular expertise in, something that you've always had a knack for, and it's always come effortlessly for you. It could be thoughts, could be emotions, could be actions, but it's one of these three. Let's say for our discussion's sake that you're very skilled in actions. When it comes down to it, when the game is on the line, when the points need to be scored, when the money needs to be made, you can get it done. You are skilled in the realm of bodily action. And this is your gift. You must give that gift to your partner's body. You become the creative authority within the inner world. Now your partner's body still does their own actions, but you oversee this creative realm. And consider how important this makes you to the marriage. Everything in human existence is determined by thoughts, emotions, and actions, and you are an expert in one of these three principal creations. It makes you absolutely essential. In fact, if you think about it, your partner is weak in this realm. They're weak in actions, and that's why they partnered with you in marriage. Although they might have liked your money or your smile or your winning personality, whatever it might have been on the outside, what they were really after is your creative expertise because you provide the fulfillment to their weak link and they want to accomplish their mission. They want to do something wonderful in, the, in life, but they need an action and experts and that is you. So as you learn to give your gift, your one area of authority, which provides you dignity in the relationship, then you start to see the next step is to receive one inner gift from your partner. Now, if you're skilled in actions, your partner will either be skilled in emotions or thoughts. You're not going to partner up with another person who's as skilled as you are in actions. That would not be efficient. You want someone who compliments you. So for our discussion here, let's say they are very gifted in the mind. They understand the world of imagery and forming inspirational energy from the mind that will inspire your actions. You must then allow them to be the mental authority within this partnership. 
this is their area of expertise and you want that expertise. Why? Because if you're very skilled in actions, you're not equally as skilled in thoughts and their expertise complements yours. And if you look at this right here, these two elements of giving your gift and receiving theirs, this is the explanation for 100% of why marriages fall apart. Either you're not giving your creative gift, which nullifies you as a partner, or you're prohibiting them from giving their creative gift. Now this happens a long time before the marriage actually falls apart externally, and then the reasons are blamed on sex or money or happiness. But all of those elements are determined by the thoughts, emotions, and the actions. So if you each don't have your own domain of creative authority, the marriage will eventually fall apart down the road and it will be blamed on some external circumstance as to not hurt your feelings or theirs unnecessarily. Because the inner realm is too personal. But if you come into the partnership looking for that complementary partner, someone who can create the thought, emotion, or action that you're lacking and really be the authority in that realm, you have a real partnership here. You now cover two thirds of everything you need to bring about your glorious manifestation of destiny into the world. Now you say, okay, so there's thoughts, emotions, and actions. I give one and I receive one. Then what happens with the third? Well, very obviously you share this realm and this is where the partnership can become intimate, truly vulnerable, truly uh, rich in tapestry because you both have your own realm of creative authority. That gives you dignity. That gives you a place where you're the one in power. But yet, you have this shared realm. And since you know that you need thoughts, emotions, and actions, you're both allured into this shared realm where it's, it's really dangerous here. You're not sure who is the authority because you must share this realm. Sometimes you'll be the dominant creator in the emotional realm. Sometimes you'll be the submissive. It changes. There's no stability here. But this is where the real bonding is created. You each have your own authority, your own expertise in one realm, and then you share that third. And that's where the magic happens. That's where the bond is strengthened by two individuals who respect each other in their own domain and yet come together as equals in the shared domain. So when you look at how this pans out, originally you had two separate individuals with a linear process where you would each have a third of the expertise you need to truly create the life you want. Whereas once you're in a marriage, you have two experts and you each have a moderate level of skill in that shared area and you get to work together there and raise the level of expertise not quite to where either of you are in your primary realm but it'll be much much better than you could do on your own and if you look at how these two come together you get one creative process involving two souls two hearts two minds and two bodies and what you produce in thoughts, emotions, and actions together brings your destiny with a potency and power out into the world that you could never even hope for by yourself. That is the strength of the marital bond in action. And the more you bond yourselves together, the more amazing your thoughts, emotions, and actions are as you live as two experts sharing one inner realm and producing truly wondrous creations. So you must give your one inner gift, the arena where you are an expert. Take responsibility over either thoughts, emotions, or actions, and then entrust a similar realm of thought, emotion, or action to your partner. And when you each have that arena of dignity, you can come together as equals in that shared creative realm. Because marriage is one creative process being utilized by two complementary experts.